Hello everyone, my name is Mini Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about the effect of tariff under general equilibrium in case of small and large country. First of all, we are going to talk about small country. We are talking about country A. Country A is doing export of cloth and import of steel. A, A1. This one is production possibility curve of country A. P0, P0. This one and P, B. This one is international exchange ratio line. C1, C2 are community indifference curve. C1, C2 are community indifference curve. And community indifference curve mainly tell us welfare of country. And higher community indifference curve means welfare of country is improving. And lower community indifference curve means loss in welfare of country. So when country is not doing any kind of trade, then equilibrium point is B. Now suppose international trade start. But initially trade is free. There is no tariff. Then production equilibrium point is E. And consumption equilibrium point is R1 in country A. Country A is doing export of cloth that is equal to EF. And total consumption of steel in country A is equal to R1Q. In which FQ part country A is producing in their own country. And remaining R1F country is doing import from other country. So E is uh, production equilibrium point. R1 is uh, consumption equilibrium point. EF is export of cloth which is done by country A and R1F is import of steel which is done by country A. Now suppose country A has imposed tariff. After imposing tariff our new production equilibrium point is B and this B point shows production of steel has increased in country A. Before imposing tariff production of steel was equal to FQ. But after imposing tariff, production of steel has increased and it become equal to DQ. Obviously, after imposing tariff, import of steel become expensive. That's why country A has to increase production of steel in their own country. So after imposing tariff, production of steel has increased in country A. So this will be called production or we can say protective effect of tariff. And after imposing tariff, consumption equilibrium point is R2. Here you can see after imposing tariff, our international exchange ratio line has shifted backward plus our community indifference curve also shifted backward from C2 to C1. That means there is loss in welfare of country A after imposing tariff. So after imposing tariff, new production equilibrium point is B and consumption equilibrium point is R2. Export are equal to DB, import are equal to R to D. Here you can see after imposing tariff, community indifference curve has shifted backward as well as international exchange ratio line also shifted backward. That means loss in welfare of country A. But why loss in welfare of country A after imposing tariff? Country A is very small country. That's why country A cannot change world prices. World prices of commodity are remain same. But due to tariff, domestically prices has increased. That's why tariff failed to improve terms of condition in case of country A. Second adverse effect of imposing tariff in small country A is after imposing tariff, export of country A will reduce. Here you can see before imposing tariff, export of country was equal to EF. But after imposing tariff, export of country has reduced and become equal to DB. But why? Country A mainly has comparative advantage in the production of cloth. But after tariff, country A has to reduce the production of cloth. If production of cloth reduce, eventually export will also reduce. But why production of cloth will reduce in country A after imposing tariff? Because country A has to increase the production of steel. And it is using resources of cloth in the production of steel. Then it has to reduce the production of cloth. So this will be also called adverse effect of tariff. Now we are going to talk about a large country. As we know, tariff have adverse effect in case of small country. But tariff have good effect in case of large country. But why? Large country do import of so many quantities. That's why large country can change world prices. 
obviously when demand of a large country import will reduce then world prices of import will also reduce if world prices of import will reduce that means we can receive more import as compared to export if we are receiving more import as compared to export that means terms of trade has improved so we can say that in case of large country after imposition of tariff terms of trade will improve here you can see after imposition of tariff production um, equilibrium point of large country is b but consumption equilibrium point is r3 here you can see large country is doing export of db but in return it is receiving import of r3d here you can see large country is receiving more import as compared to export that means after imposing tariff terms of uh, trade in case of large country has improved second thing here you can see after imposition of tariff large country has shifted from higher community indifference curve c3 and higher community indifference curve shows improvement in welfare of country large country after imposition of tariff so this is all about uh, effect of tariff under general equilibrium i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care